YouTube. So, this is a video for uh, all of you gun nuts out there. Um, I don't know if you saw my last uh, the video um, where I was shooting uh, the uh, new steel targets that my wife bought me. But as many of you know, I always have to modify everything. So, um, I kind of had a plan um, to modify those steel targets. Um, and uh, so, here they are. Um, looks a little different. Uh, don't tell my wife I uh, showed you guys in my garage when it was this messy. Anyway, so you'll see I've got all six of those targets now hanging. And uh, as what I did is uh, I just welded bolts to the back of them. And um, I'm hoping to put maybe a little uh, cotter pin here and here to keep it from sliding around. But I want to keep it modular so that way it's easy to uh, toss in the back of my truck and just uh, take it out to the range whenever. And I also, I didn't weld these. Um, you can see right here, it's not welded. This bolt is part of the A-frame. Um, that way, is all you have to do is just kick both sides. Let me back up here. You see the A-frame on both sides, over there and over there. You just kick the bottoms out and it holds it tight. And then uh, when you want to take it apart, you just slide it out and uh, disassemble. So that's my uh, latest creation. I just chopped them all up and uh, welded everything together. I got some extra bolts here. So I'm actually going to, uh, my next stage is uh, I want to make a configuration where they stand like this and then I shoot them they fall over but that's gonna have to be um, something that this rod right here will go into but that's a whole new creation then and when I finish that maybe I'll post it um, I still have the little guys over here um, I hope to uh, make a shooting tree out of these I'm gonna mount them vertically like that a whole stack paint one side one color the other side another color and then be able to shoot them back and forth and have uh, uh, dueling tree challenges anyways that's uh, all I got for this video um, sorry current events people who are hoping for more current events updates or um, I mean I did watch the dog and pony show last night I'm referring to the presidential debate overall there's not much to know other than Romney did a lot better than Obama. Overall, they've, you know, went back and forth and they argued about, you know, who was going to spend more money and uh, who loves America and people more. Like, I mean, Mitt Romney had a little, uh, little, little time where he, you know, assured the American people that, you know, he cares about old people more and he's going to spend more money on, on Medicare than Obama is. And then Obama's like, no, I'm going to spend more money on Obamacare. And then Romney's like, no, 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 he's going to cut $700 billion. I'm going to be the guy who spends more money on uh, uh, Medicare. And in reality, all those numbers you heard last night, by the way, those are numbers that are stretched out over a period of uh, you know, the next 10 years or the next 20 years. They say, oh, they're going to cut this much money over 20 years or hey they're gonna add this much money over five years over 10 years okay really honestly nobody's cutting any spending don't worry they're not gonna cut so much spending that you know you're gonna go broke you're gonna go broke anyways because the dollars uh, being massively inflated because of quantitative easing at infinity so it have really has nothing to do with um, some of that some of the other stuff that the media likes to parade in front of you it, most of the time, it's just distractions. Anyways, that's all I got. Um, Till next time.